Hello friends, my name is Shivansh and welcome back to my channel. We had discussed the topics on fog, smoke and smog in my last Musti Ki Paatshala. In today's session, we will discuss about clouds. What are clouds? Clouds are made up of ice or water in the air. A thought is coming in my mind. Can we touch the clouds? No, we cannot touch the clouds, but we can see them. If we would try to touch the clouds, a hand would go straight through it. However, we can walk through it. Yes, fog is a cloud formed close to the ground. That's why we are able to walk through it. Is the same question coming in your mind that why do clouds appear white? Right? Sunlight is scattered equally, so it gives the white appearance to the clouds. Due to presence of nitrogen dioxide in the areas with high level of pollution, clouds appear yellow too. Red, orange and pink clouds occur at sunrise and sunset. It is due to scattering of sunlight by the atmosphere. Have you ever looked at the sky? No, two clouds appear the same and are always changing their shapes. Do you know why this happens? Different types of clouds are forming at different heights and different temperature. Now we will talk about different types of clouds. Cirrus clouds. These are thin wispy clouds seen high in the sky at 8 to 12 kilometers. These clouds look like cotton balls. These clouds are thin because they are made up of ice crystals instead of water droplets. Cumulus clouds. These are puffy clouds scattered throughout the sky at 0 to 2 kilometers. These clouds are formed when warm air rises carrying water vapors by evaporation. These clouds can be grey or white. When they are grey, it means it is going to rain. Stratus clouds. These clouds look like thick blankets covering the sky at 0 to 2 kilometers. These clouds are sure sign of rain if it is warm and snow if it is cold. Stratus clouds near the ground form fog. Nimbus clouds are those from which rain or snow is already falling. These clouds are dark and are seen during thunderstorm along with thunder and lightning. They are found at 2 to 7 kilometers. If you like my video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe my channel too. If you have any suggestions, please comment on the comment section below. Happy learning!